Hi, in this tutorial we're going to go over the basics of the order system for the Virtumart e-commerce shopping cart which is the component used for Joomla uh, e-commerce shopping. So um, basically when a client adds a product to his cart he is um, asked to check out of the system and he is prompted by the system to sign in with an existing account or sign up to an, uh, to a new account. Um, the system has all the basic functionalities of um, user activation so once you try to set up a new account it sends the user an activation email um, very basic things that are normally um, essential for an e-commerce system so once an order is processed, um, the owner of the website, of the e-commerce website, gets an email alerting them to say that an order has been processed, uh, payment has been received, um, and they need to do their stock handling bits to ship off the product, etc., or whatever the process is. Um, the client who is logging into the website and ordering the product also gets an in confirmation email saying that they've ordered the product either uh, the product needs to be paid for or the product has been paid for and that they received the receipt for that product um, so let's go through the process of um, how this order information can be accessed through the back end of the Virtumart system so what I'm going to do is log in to the backend with my um, administrator username and password and access an order that I just processed a few minutes ago. So I log in here and when I log in I scroll to components, Virtumart and once I'm in the Virtumart system I scroll to the orders tab and I list my orders. So once I've listed my orders, I see that um, I see my order right there that I've just processed. I click on the number, or and I basically get all the order information that's come up. Um, this is basically essential in information for the owner of the website to review. Once an order has been confirmed through the system, it automatically handles the stock um, that has been previously set up by the owner of the shopping cart through the products uh, tab. Um, I've gone over how to set up a new product and stock um, in, a, in a previous tutorial. Um, Basically, when an order is placed, it automatically handles the, the stock. So if there are 20 stock for one particular item, it will delete one and leave only 19 in the shopping cart, um, effectively handling a stock process. So that's basically how you access orders um, through the system here. Um, the only essential feature of this uh, of this order is uh, basically changing the order status. So for some reason, if the client's called up and cancelled the order or wanted a refund of the order, um, they, this can be set up here. Note that when um, a product order is cancelled, it automatically adds the product back to the product um, to the main product uh, stock um, and um, if, a, if a product is is refunded note that the, this does not mean that um, a pr the, the amount is automatically refunded through PayPal or an e-commerce system it's um, this this setting here is mainly meant for to track information through your Virtumart system. It doesn't process any external e-commerce system. And um, yeah, that's that's essentially how that works. So um, basically, that's how you access orders through the Virtumart system. Please refer back to our resources center uh, on our website. And uh, I do hope you found the tutorial helpful. Uh, thank you. This is Joseph from thirddesign.com. Um, goodbye.